I would like to introduce our first speaker. Uh, let's see who is with us today uh, from online, Takeru Kodama from Kyushu University. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, Takeru! <laughs> uh, who, who's a PhD student at Kyushu University. He's going to be, well, he'll introduce himself. We're going to be talking about cicadas. You see why I wanted to do this earlier this month? Because right now it's just right, right at the cusp of that. So, uh, if you can open up your screen share. Okay. And uh, you're coming in, you're coming in now. We're all able to see that all right. So, generally this is 20 minutes of a talk and then 10 minutes of Q&A. Uh, and so if you have any questions, please ask at the end. So, all right. Please allow me to introduce our first speaker, Takeru Kodama. Dozo. Okay. Thank you for introduction. Uh, today, I will tell you uh, some uh, most, most seasonal topic. My title is Cicada, Insect Musician. Can you hear my voice? Okay. Okay, uh, now uh, I will start. Good night, everyone. Uh, my name is Takeru Kodama. Uh, uh, I am a member of Laboratory of Ecological Science in Kyushu University. Uh, my expertise is behavioral ecology and evolution and uh, bioacoustics. Especially, I'm studying about cicadas. So I will tell you about, uh, so today's theme is behavior. Now, so I will tell you about the behavior of cicadas from the basic ecology or uh, uh, to the uh, recent study. Okay. Uh, now, first, uh, I will tell you uh, some introduce. Uh, I will introduce some Japanese cicadas. Uh, I will broadcast some uh, cicadas' voice. So, uh, please remember the uh, what which cicada uh, produce the songs. Okay. First, uh, have you ever heard his song? Yes. Hi. Yes. Hey, have you ever heard? A very, <laughs> very powerful uh, song. He is Cryptokimpana facialis. Uh, his Japanese name is Kumazemi. Kuma means bear, a black bear. And Zemi uh, or uh, Semi uh, means uh, cicada in Japan. So uh, his name means uh, bear cicada. Uh, he is one of the biggest cicadas in Japan, and also he is the most common cicada in Kyushu. So maybe uh, you have ever heard or seen his song uh, or his visual, right? This is the most popular or most common um, cicada in Kyushu. Next, have you ever heard his song? This is also common in Kyushu. He is Graptopsautoria nigrofuscata. His Japanese name is Aburazemi. Uh, Abura means oil, but uh, this is uh, frying, uh, deep frying uh, with oil. So uh, ancient Japanese people uh, heard his song and imagined uh, just like uh, this sound is just like uh, deep frying with oil. So uh, they called him uh, Abura Zemi, uh, oil frying cicada. He's almost everywhere in Kyushu. Uh, but uh, his uh, interesting feature is the uh, his wing. The wing is colored uh, brown, not clear. It is rare feature in cicadas in the world. Okay, next. Have you ever heard his song? Hey. <laughs> so uh, maybe you know, <laughs> he is Hiyoesa Makuashiko, his Japanese name is Min Min Zemi. Min Min is uh, just onomatope and the semi is cicada. So uh, his name means uh, cicada uh, which sings Min Min. 
so he called he's called Min Minzen. Uh, she is one of the most famous uh, cicadas in Japan. So maybe all Japanese people know his song, but he's little seen in Kyushu. So uh, maybe uh, you can see him, uh, if, for example, in Tokyo uh, or Kanto. Uh, can uh, you can see him? Okay, last one. Have you ever heard his song? Very beautiful voice. He is Tanna Japanese. The Japanese name is Higurashi. Have you ever heard? Higurashi means evening. Uh, evening. So uh, he has the most beautiful songs. So ancient Japanese people uh, often was move their heart. So uh, this cicada may uh, often uh, appear in the classical Japanese poetry, uh, just like tanka or haiku, as a metaphor of the evening or the end of the day. Okay, these are my uh, study partners. And now, uh, next, uh, I, will, I will tell you some basic ecology of cicadas. Uh, first thing is, how do they think? Do you know how do they think? <laughs> uh, simply, they sing with belly. Belly. What? What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Where is the cicada's belly? Here is the cicada's belly. <laughs> this, this red circle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In difficulty, uh, they use specific mechanism, uh, which is called timber, timber mechanism. Here is the tim uh, figure of timber mechanism. Uh, there are timber muscles, uh, some muscles and the mem membranes, uh, which attach the muscles. And so how do they think? Uh, first, uh, they contract the, their muscles and the muscles are uh, vibrate attached membrane. And the membranes uh, produce the sounds, and the sounds were uh, sounds resonated in cavity, and it becomes big, big sound and emitted. So uh, all cicadas uh, use this mechanism. So <clears throat> uh, this, uh, this is how they think. Uh, first, uh, muscle contraction, second, membrane vibration, and third, uh, resonance in cavity uh, make big sound. The second point is who is singing? I said she is, uh, and she has, or he sing. Yes, only males have timbal and can sing. So why the males sing? What is the purpose? of it. The one, uh, the one purpose is to attract females. Male songs uh, produce songs, and females uh, locate with the song and approaches it, approaches to the male. And uh, they become couple and proceed to mating. Uh, coincidentally, uh, females uh, may judge the male's quality with this song. And just like whether the male can sing well or not, or uh, the male is handsome or not. But, <laughs> but uh, it is still an open question that what, what feature is used for female choice? Uh, it is still unknown. And the, another purpose is to form chorus group. If, uh, male song also uh, attracts other males and elicits other males singing. <laughs> uh, for attracting females, uh, for males, uh, it is more efficient to form chorus than uh, sing alone. For, for males, uh, to to make a uh, chorus group uh, is more efficient for males. Uh, 
also there will be some other meanings, but uh, these two purposes uh, to attract females and to form chorus group is the major purpose of the male's song. Okay, this is basic ecology of the geta. Now, let's see the mysterious point of the geta. Cicadas are common insects, especially for Japanese. So most people think that cicadas are well studied and the ecology is almost revealed. However, behavioral data of cicadas is so scarce that uh, there are many, many mysterious points. Before, uh, before singing, uh, seeing these mysteries, Let's think why they are still mysterious. One reason is the long generation time. The lava of cicada uh, grow up under the ground and becomes adult after so many years. <clears throat> like, for example, two or three years uh, or the longest uh, 17 years old. So uh, very, very, uh, it takes very, very long generation time. So uh, therefore it is difficult to breed uh, or uh, breathe, breathe the lava uh, into the adults uh, for uh, using the observation. So uh, you may come up with the uh, to capture adults or and breed it. Uh, for observation, but uh, there uh, we face second uh, reason, difficulty of artificial feeding. Do you know what cicada eats? Uh, their, their food is uh, tree, tree, tree juice, tree juice. So they eat them uh, tree juice from the living nature tree. So, <clears throat> If you capture a cicada into the cage for some days, uh, it will be dead soon. And <clears throat> but <clears throat> and cicadas, but to keep cicadas with the living tree, uh, it's maybe a may need big equipment. And cicadas fly and move so broad range from tree to tree. So, uh, so living tree <laughs> needs big equipment and uh, all equipment to artificial feeding or artificial breeding uh, constrict the uh, behavior of cicada. So we can, uh, we can see a natural behavior on, uh, we cannot see natural behavior under the artificial condition. So uh, we have to, uh, so finally, uh, in order to observe uh, the natural behavior of cicada, uh, we have to go out field and see uh, just, uh, just looking the living cicada in the forest. But uh, it is also a difficult try. So uh, because of these difficulties or ETC, uh, many points about the behavior of cicada is still open questions. Today, I picked up one of the mysterious, uh, one of the most mysterious point, I think. So that is why the song is so complex. Most singing insects produce simple sing, a simple song, uh, just like cat did it. They're so simple, but Sikeda's one is so complex just uh, because uh, they changes the melody or rhythms just like me means any me 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 so they changes uh, to how to sing uh, their song is so complex in insects <clears throat> especially uh, some of them have exceedingly complex song today uh, Today, uh, I will introduce uh, some uh, one uh, most interesting example. It is Meimura Opalifera. Japanese name is Tsukutsuku Boshi. 
Do you know? Tsukutsuke boshi. The most interesting thing is uh, his song uh, of, uh, so his song, one phrase of the song consists of three sections. Uh, there are introductory section and uh, main section and the ending section. <laughs> the, they, uh, it consists of three sections, but the most uh, interesting thing is the pattern of the main section changes in the middle. So I prepare the supplemental video. So let's see and listen to the song. This is introductory section. And this is main section. This is just a song of name now particular. It seems like it's the ball, it's the ball. So his name is the ball. But interest point is next. <laughs> this is the feature of this song. <clears throat> so, uh, as you listened, this song changes in the middle. And this main section is divided into two parts, the former part and the latter part. For its function, uh, like uh, to attract females or to form chorus group, uh, it seems not to be necessary for uh, this, for its function. This complexity is not so, uh, not so necessary. Although, although really interesting feature, the reason why the song changes in the middle is still open question. Now, I will tell you about my uh, study at university. I'm studying about the song complexity of Mena Pipera. So, <clears throat> about the reason why the song changes, I thought, would the former part and the latter part have different messages? So, how do you investigate this? <laughs> so, uh, I conducted at the university the playback experiment. What is the playback experiment? I use captured mail and loudspeaker. I broadcast some sounds of the cicada song from the loudspeaker uh, to the captured mail. And I observe the captured mail and count the response from the mails. Three types of sounds were played back. The first one is the whole of the song of Meme no Pipera. And second one is the former part only of the song. So, uh, only. Okay, can I understand? And the third one is latter part only of the song. So, only. Uh, among, among the three types of the playback, uh, I compare the number of responses from the mail and the uh, I tested the uh, difference of the former part and the latter part. Here is the results. Let's see the red circle. The number of responses was changed between playbacks of former and the latter. In other words, uh, the former part and the latter part have different message for males, and the males uh, have different uh, have uh, react different uh, responses to the former and the latter part. So <clears throat> this result suggests the complexity has some meanings, but I don't know what is the meaning. What? I don't know what the meaning is. I still don't know. So I want to reveal more detail in the future. So I continue this study. So my study is ongoing just now. So if you want more information, please follow my Twitter and check updates. Thank you for your listening. Uh, hey, uh
Yeah, thank you, thank you, Takeru. So uh, we have about plenty of time to uh, ask questions. You might want to speak up a little bit since the microphone's a little bit uh, far. Uh, I, well, I have a, I'm using my uh, MC prerogative, but I have a question. <laughs> uh, what do you count as responses from the Tsukutsuku Boshi when you play the, play, play the song? What, what do you count as response? What, what is the response from Tsukutsuku Boshi? Oh, 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 okay. Uh, so, uh, you, you're asking me, uh, how, I, how uh, did I uh, count the response? Yeah, yeah, like so. Ah, okay. With, with these, uh, with, what what do you count as response? Do they move around? Yes. Do they call mm -hmm. back? Do they like, <laughs> yeah. go wild in the cave? What's happening? What's happening? Do they start seeing so, that? Oh, <laughs> there is one uh, one another uh, interesting feature. But uh, tsukutsuke boshi, uh, uh, if uh, there are some another tsukutsuke boshi males, uh, the male uh, hear the another uh, tsukutsuke boshi sing singing and uh, response G like jamming sound. Uh, wow. So do, do you know? Uh, uh, so this cicada uh, produces some uh, simple short call. G just like G song uh, produce if uh, there are uh, around and uh, uh, some other uh, singing cicada. Uh, so. Uh, they are, uh, it is called a uh, bow guy. Uh, so, uh, what, what, what can I say? So, uh, like interference. Ja, jama o shite iru to ka. Yeah, but, but it is still not a uh, big deal. Uh, jama o shite iru ka, aru iwa, sono, tezatte iru ka, helping, helping uh, to singing, or, uh, so, Drop to singing. <laughs> what, what, what the function is is not revealed, but uh, but uh, males produce this produces some short sound. Uh, this is correct thing. So uh, I counted uh, response. Uh, this song sound as a response, and the, I counted the response responsive sound as a, a number of responses. Thank you. Could you understand? Yes. I have a question. Yeah, yeah. So okay. what if you play a song of a different type of cicada? Oh, uh, so in this study I didn't try, but uh, it, is, <laughs> it seems like interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah, because you have the former is simple, latter is simple, no sound, white noise. So I think a meaningful mm. control would be a full song of a different mm. cicada. No, uh, I I use no uh, other cicada song. Uh -huh. uh, so but, so uh, you can't with that sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, cicadas uh, can... That could be down as cool water. <laughs> <laughs> ちょっと、ちょっと日本語入るかもしれないですけど、あの、セミはですね、あの、自分の声を聞くのは得意だけど、他のセミはそうではない可能性があって、そうですね。どのように自分と他の種を聞き分けているかを調べるのは面白いこ
my friends, uh, every my friends said so. But no, 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 I, I don't. I, I don't know how, what, why the song is changed. I'm studying just now. So uh, if I said uh, so, uh, my friends, uh, so very, very so uh, excited. Oh, oh, Zehi, can you So let's uh, let's study it. So it will be okay. And the second question, uh, second, hi, so. second question is. Oh, okay. When foreigners came to Japan for the first time, they listened to skaters. Probably they heard noise, not music or sound. And yes, sir. Oops, sorry. Yeah. So foreigners in well, for the first time, foreigners heard skaters. Do they hear music or sound in them in mm. mu no, the sounds? Mm. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I think foreign cicadas song is not so melodious. Uh, Japanese cicadas uh, is especially melodious in world. So uh, for foreigners, uh, uh, Japanese cicadas song is um, some curious thing, I think. <laughs> He's not an anthropologist. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. My question is for the for the cicada. Is singing risky? Does it make them more likely to be eaten by predators? So, sorry. Uh, if a, if a cicada is big voice. Sorry. If a cicada sings, if they make a noise, hmm. does it mean they are more likely to become eaten by something which eats cicadas? Oh, so uh, this song is a uh, risky uh, of uh, pre yeah. predator. Yeah, yeah. predator protein. It's, it's, yeah. it's telling the predators like. That, you that's know? right. Yeah. 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 Yes, but uh, a predator may uh, use uh, cicada's song as a uh, locating. Uh, mm. Cicada and uh, approach it to hunting, but uh, cicadas uh, produce so big sound. So um, one of the function is to uh, to uh, attack with sound, <laughs> so big noise. So uh, some some cicadas uh, too too many uh, too much big sound uh, produce. So uh, some of the uh, birds, uh, predators, uh, uh, dis uh, dislikes this big sound and uh, return. Maybe that's uh, it may uh, it may be some have some uh, different uh, di uh, functions uh, like it. All right. We still got we still got a couple more uh, time for a couple more questions. Yeah. そう、日本が一番セミの種類が多いんですか。それとも他の国の方がもっとセミの種類って言いますか。あ、えっとですね。日本だとえっと日本は今結構三十ちょっとくらいのセミが三十種類ちょっとくらいのセミがいるんですけ
Uh, also, uh, lava of the data eats a uh, tree juice uh, from the roots of tree on the ground. Uh, but uh, root, uh, the tree juice from the root of the tree is not nutritious nutrition. So uh, it grew uh, need so long time. Because of this, uh, the uh, bringing up into adult uh, takes so long years. Uh, okay. So uh, they are <laughs> they are only eating or living only for so, many years. I have a question. So okay. skater is now you can hear inside metropolitan area in a big town, but. Why do you think about nature, the Midtown is losing nature? Why they keep living inside cities? So, あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ